much. It was such a uh, pleasure to get to talk with you all at uh, the North Conference School. I wish you all the best. And uh, 73 from the International Space Station. Jo, meine Leute, herzlich willkommen zu meinem neuen Video. Hier der abgehörte Ares-Kontakt zwischen dem borg monsberg gymnasium in Graz. Und äh, ich muss gleich sagen, ich habe es nicht mehr geschafft, die Kamera aufzubauen. Ich war zwei, drei Minuten zu spät dran. Ähm, Ton habe ich wohl aufgezeichnet, nur ähm, für die Kamera hat es nicht mehr gereicht. Es tut mir leid. Ähm, ja, Antenne hatte ich wieder... Die hier, ähm, diese Nachbau der ELK-Antenne, aus einem Video schon mal bekannt von mir. Und den FT897. Genau, das Intro mache ich auch ganz kurz, denn das Gymnasium in Graz, das burg monsberg gymnasium hat nämlich einen Livestream rausgebracht und den auf YouTube. Und der ist ja, bleibt ja dann auf YouTube weiter zum Anschauen, soweit ich das weiß. Genau, dann noch ganz kurz, ähm, die Grazer hatten das Rufzeichen Oscar Ecke 0 Aris, ein Sonderrufzeichen und das soll noch eine Woche ähm, aktiv sein, also wer eine Amateurfunklizenz hat, könnte es äh, schaffen, äh, dieses Sonderrufzeichen ins Logbuch zu bringen, wer es denn gerne möchte. Okay, ähm, ja, jetzt könnt ihr hören, wie es sich hier bei mir der Downlink der ISS angehört hat und der Link zum Livestream ist in der Beschreibung bzw. zum Video dann hinterher. Ja, also ich sag mal ciao und tschüss, bis zum nächsten Video. Um, we have an exercise bike, a treadmill, and a, uh, and a resistance machine. And uh, that helps to keep our bones and uh, muscles and heart uh, strong. Otherwise, when we got back to the earth, we would be extremely weak and prone to uh, breaking bones. Over. Everyone up here is trained on the medical kit and procedures. We uh, is a, a physician extender for the flight surgeon that is sitting on console back in Houston. Um, I happen to be an emergency medicine doctor, so uh, um, I am. Uh, there's not always a doctor on every mission, but uh, if someone were to get sick, I would also be able to help. If uh, they became extremely ill, um, they would return to the earth. We would evacuate them to Earth for treatment on the Earth. Over. vegetables. Um, our food is either thermostabilized, that is uh, already prepared and then sealed in a pouch, or it is dehydrated and so we have to add water to it. Um, it's a, a, a fairly uh, diverse menu, um, but over the course of six months or even in Scott Kelly's case a year, of course uh, it gets a little repetitive, but uh, we're very happy with uh, the different foods that we get to eat. Over. Well, my favorite food, and I'm going to include drinks in here, is, uh, is my coffee. It uh, definitely keeps me going every day, and uh, I look forward to, to having at least a pouch of coffee um, once a day. Uh, I think my favorite uh, uh, thing to eat, though, is probably we have a maple-flavored uh, muff muffin, and, uh, and that's my favorite breakfast food. Over. We, we have a, uh, a very busy schedule. Um, Monday through Friday is our work day, and uh, fortunately we get the weekends off um, for the most part. We start our work days with a morning conference at the ground, and then we start, and that's around 7.30 in the morning, and then we start working. And we have, during the course of the day, we work on experiments and uh, maintenance, um, and we have an hour off for lunch, and we also have an hour and a half, uh, two hours reserved for exercise. 
Uh, but we keep working until about 7, 7.30 in the evening when we have an evening conference with the ground to talk about what we accomplished and what we're looking forward to the next day. Um, after that, uh, we have a little bit of time to eat dinner, uh, answer email, and make some phone calls, and then it's time for sleep. Over. Nothing particularly special, uh, and as we, um, our clothes have to be mainly made out of cotton, uh, just for uh, fire precautions. But uh, there's nothing particularly special about it. Uh, just it's typically very comfortable, not very formal, um, because of course this is uh, the clothes that we um, that represents uh, you know where we live and also relax. And uh, and so thankfully the clothes uh, reflect that. Over. I love to look out the window and take photographs um, and share those with friends and family. Uh, I think uh, we, we also enjoy um, spending time on the phone and uh, talking with friends and family and, and working on email. Uh, but certainly for me, um, taking photos of the earth below is, uh, is my favorite thing. Over. Angela, it's a great question, and there absolutely is. In fact, there's a name for it is space motion sickness, SMS. And uh, most, about 70% of first-time flyers will suffer it uh, when veterans return to space. They typically don't get quite as sick, but it, it feels very much like seasickness. Um, a little bit of nausea and, uh, and, and just overall not feeling well. And that lasts for maybe a day or two, and then you get better. So uh, thankfully... Um, everyone uh, generally recovers from that and feels ready to go for uh, the rest of their mission. Over. You know, getting to watch, to see the Earth from above was uh, really kind of a dream for me and uh, one of the reasons that I wanted to become an astronaut. And so, of course, the first time that I got to see that, uh, just the pristine um, colors, light was almost overwhelming, um, just uh, an amazing sight, and you know, I never get tired of looking at the Earth, because the light is always changing um, as the, the planet's position changes in relationship to the sun, and the seasons change, the view always changes too, so even familiar places um, can look a little bit different depending on the lighting, and it's, uh, it's amazing. Over. Alexander, I think it absolutely is a possibility. As we become more comfortable with space flight and as commercial companies take over um, uh, low Earth orbit uh, travel, I think it's something that's going to come true, hopefully within our lifetime. Over. Good question, buddy, and absolutely. And for me, that's probably the toughest part of this mission is being away from my, my wife and children um, and friends uh, for so long. But... Uh, um, I do get to mu communicate with them. Technology makes uh, that very easy and has bridged that gap. And I love uh, getting to share this experience with them. Over. Thank you so much. It was such a uh, pleasure to get to talk with you all. At uh, the Board of School, I wish you all the best, and uh, 7-3 from the International Space Station.